we did levy a $5 billion fine. As you mentioned, $5 billion is the largest privacy fine that's been levied, not just in the United States, but globally. It is the second largest civil penalty ever imposed by the United States government. The only larger civil penalty was $5.5 billion for Deepwater Horizon, in which the Gulf was contaminated, industries were destroyed, livelihoods were ruined, millions of animals were killed, 11 Americans were killed. And so this is a significant fine any way you want to slice it. It's 9% of their revenues in 2018, and it's 22% of their profits. Not, not jump change. Median income in the United States is $60,000. 9% of that is $5,500. If I get a $5,500 parking ticket, I'm taking ride share everywhere. So, so this is, it's not a slap on the wrist and it's not a parking ticket. Um, and then to, to those who would say we didn't go far enough, obviously uh, I believe that my colleagues in, in the dissent on this matter want what I want, which is to give consumers control about how their information is collected, to provide some transparency and accountability with respect to consumer privacy. I think we disagree about how to get there. There was a lot of discussion about whether to litigate or to pursue a settlement, and I think, you know, frankly, that's some of the discontent that we're hearing from Congress, and what I would say is, when faced with the choice of whether to litigate, certainly there is transparency and accountability that comes when a company's internal documents are disclosed in open court or when a CEO sits on the stand and testifies, as we saw Bill Gates do in the Microsoft trial. But that is a lengthy process. We would be in discovery for years. Facebook would be well lawyered. And the, by choosing to settle, and to get the incredibly strong injunctive relief that we did. We are bringing immediate protections for Facebook users today. We are setting out, uh, a, a, in a sense, a set of best practices, not necessarily that other companies looking at this need to follow every single step that Facebook needs to follow. They are unique, um, but, but we are saying the Federal Trade Commission is going to use the limits of its authority to, to demonstrate that consumer privacy matters and the promises that you make, you need to honor. Now obviously, um, there are limits to what we can do. We're applying Section 5 of the FTC Act and uh, essentially deception is, uh, is the authority here. So if a company makes a statement and then fails to abide by the statement or the promise, that's when we can step in. So we have called on Congress uh, on a bipartisan basis to enact federal privacy and data security legislation that will set expectations for companies about how information can be collected and how it can be used and sold and shared and aggregated and monetized. We are happy to step in with narrow targeted APA rulemaking, um, but if people want us to go further, it is Congress who needs to step in and create federal privacy legislation.